Hello and welcome to another edition of Screencast Online. My name is Rosemary Orchard and in today's show we're going to be taking a look at Forklift. Forklift is an alternative to Finder in that it is a file manager for macOS. Forklift however is more than just Finder, it has many similarities. It's made by the company Binary Knights and you can get it directly from their website including with a free trial. They also have a quick overview of some of the things that you can do, most of which we'll cover in today's screencast. However, if you're a subscriber of Setup, you can go ahead and download it from Setup directly, where they have a further overview of why you might want to use it. Personally, I find Forklift is useful alone purely for its dual pane approach to file management, allowing me to easily compare folders, move files around, etc. without wrangling multiple windows. But there's a lot more to Forklift than meets the eye. So let's get started and compare Forklift with Finder. Here I have Forklift in the top left and Finder in the bottom right. First of all, as I'm sure you can see, Finder has the sidebar and one pane and a toolbar across the top. Whereas Forklift has a sidebar on the left and a toolbar across the top, but in the main body we have two panes and then an info pane. So for example, at the moment it's showing me the details of the public folder, but if I click on the desktop, then it'll show me the details of the desktop. And it will show me the details of whatever is the most recently clicked on file. If I would like to see those details in Finder, then I need to either right click and get info or press Command I. I'll just close that extra info pane. Let's look at one of my favorite features in both Finder and Forklift tabs. Now, as I'm sure you're familiar with in Finder, if you press Command T, you can open a new tab. It defaults to my Recents tab, and that's something I could change in the Preferences. Forklift also supports multiple tabs, and it actually supports this on a per pane view. So you can see my right hand pane now has two tabs at the top. But if I click into my left hand pane and then press Command T, then I get a second tab there. This allows me to have multiple tabs, but still be able to access things side by side if I want to. Additionally, I can drag and drop tabs between panes. Something else that both Finder and Forklift support is light and dark mode. If I pop into System Preferences and then into General, you can see that my appearance is currently set to light. If I change it to dark, everything updates and Forklift even briefly updated faster than Finder. One of Forklift's key selling points is something you can also do in Finder, which is connect to other servers or different machines. So for example, here in Finder, if I use Command K, then you can see the connect to server window. This is also available through the Go menu. However, this is something that's a little easier to do in Forklift. Under the Go menu, exactly the same as Finder, I have connect. I'll use the view menu to switch to one pane just to make this easier but I can bring that back at any moment. The key difference here is the protocol dropdown. Forklift actively helps you build connections to servers, whereas Finder does expect you to know how to do it yourself. For example, typing sftp colon slash slash the name of your server, and then probably username at password in order to connect. In this case, I'm going to connect to an SMB share and the machine name is Enterprise, as in the United Federation of Planets Starship. My username for this is Rose, and I'll just type my password. Now if I hit connect, I see the same thing that comes up whenever I try to connect to this through Finder, and here we are. Then it will go through and ask me what I'd like to connect to. As you can see, I've got a movie drive, movies in general, TV, and a TV drive too. I'll just hit cancel for the time being. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up to date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad, and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. 
Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencast Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit screencastsonline.com today and become a Screencast Online member.